Hello from Boracay. Today I'll be going to the Henan and it is raining. So just landing here and uh, getting into the airport now. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing a review of the Henan Resort. So I'm gonna take you with me. And I did set up the uh, private transfer from the Henan. So the word has it that they have their own speedboat, but it's raining and that sucks. So last time I came to Borka, I had a really bad trip. I'm hoping that this trip is a little bit better. We're off to a bad start here. So yeah, anyway. Let's get started here guys. So I've been told that the Henan is over here, but it's pouring raining. Oh jeez. I don't know guys. I don't know what's up with me and Boracay, but every time I come here, something bad happens. Okay, so Henan has their own welcome center. This is in a completely different place than when I did Boracay last time, just through Southwest. Henan has their own place, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a boat. We get our own boat right to the resort, so that's pretty sick. So here's the welcome center, and it's got the uh, kind of Henan brands, which, yeah, reminds me of when I stayed at the Henan in, um, yep, yep. It is raining so hard. Uh, you have to pay, so this whole transfer service was 1,900 pesos. To go through Southwest, it's like 1,600. And that is, by the way, that is a round trip. So they will take me back here after my stay. They'll take me back to the airport when I'm done. I'm staying at the Henan three nights. And uh, yeah, so it was only 300 pesos more to do the Henan's um, service, which is about only $5 more. And yeah, I don't have to worry about like, the thing is when you do the transfer through Southwest, it they drop people off at a bunch of different hotels so it takes a long time to actually get to your hotel anyway yeah crazy day so far but uh yeah all of my gear is just so wet drenched okay guys I'm a little concerned at how this is gonna be hoping I don't puke but uh we'll see guys <laughs> it's definitely the smallest boat I've been on eating up my ear but this is really good oh my gosh it's just continuing to absolutely pour rain oh, welcome drink is good okay I'm a bit frazzled because it just seems like I can't enjoy Borka it's like every time first time I was here I got locked in a bathroom had terrible accommodation. Now, I'm on the tail end, or at the start of a typhoon, which was not supposed to come this way. It hit the other end. I was in Shargao, and I left Shargao early because there's typhoon coming. And I was expecting that it'd be okay here because it's on the other side. All right, well, let's take these freaking socks off. How about that? And then, off, wet socks. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's turn on some lights here. Uh, cool. So, these rooms are always really nice. And this one is seems, appears to be nice. So here is what you get. Now let me tell you how much I'm spending. I am definitely paid up for this room here. Um, oh look. Okay, let's take a look at what's out going on out here. Oh, looks like people are... Trying to enjoy the beach bar. Yeah, I guess there it is. I guess it's not in the splash zone, so to speak. So you've got a massive pool here with the beach bar in the middle. Hopefully, I can swim in there when it, when it stops raining. 
but I don't love when the balcony is like facing the pool because then it feels like you're just looking at people but it is what it is so um yeah I am very hungry but that's that's the balcony and then that's me hello we're here we made it let's do a bed test oh yep it's like a Marriott bed almost which are like the best beds in the world not quite but it's it's on par it's very close um I think I'll show you like what the internet speed is as well let's see here surprisingly like not super hot so I don't need to put the AC on oh look at this we got this tub might soak in the tub later tonight got this tub overlooking the room and a shower here a rain shower and then let's also see what else you got the good old toilet there and let's see what kind of uh, amenity kits we have here so we got a dental kit shaving kit shower cap cotton buds bath foam oh nice so you can take a shower shampoo conditioner i'm assuming lotion oh bath foam wait so where's the soap uh okay whatever i guess that's bath foam uh, I was thinking bubble bath, a seven and a half bubble bath. Of course, you've got everything that you need here, hair, hair dryer, everything. And I'm assuming that, huh, I don't know what's going on there, but I'm assuming that the water pressure is gonna be pretty hot. So let me just double check to make sure I tell you exactly, exactly and accurately how much I'm paying. For this room because I paid up a bit. Um, there are two Henans on Borkai. There's the Henan Regency which is a lower price and then there's the Henan Palm which I'm at now. This is like the full thing. It's not an, it's not an all-inclusive resort that you would get in like Jamaica or whatever but this is like a five-star resort. At least it's five stars on Agoda. It's like the top tier on Agoda. I think it might technically be a four-star um, on Google but yeah, let's take a look at what I'm paying here. Yeah, I'm paying three, uh, three seventeen per. Sorry, no, God, I'm paying one seventeen per night, one hundred and seventeen dollars per night. Actually, not too bad. It's one of the best resorts on Borkai Island, and Borkai is like you know a very desirable place to come. So I would say for one of the best resorts, it's really not bad. The Regency you could get for I think eighty four dollars a night, but I really, really wanted to go all out and check out the Henin Palm. Because I stayed at a Henan in Alona Beach in Pang Lao, and it was one of my favorite stays. So let's see how this one compares, guys. Let me get myself settled here, and then we'll check out the resort. Okay, internet speed's a bit rough, not gonna lie. So this one says 25, close. This one says eight, down. The up's not bad, but yeah. I do have to do some work, of course. I'm always working as a content creator, always, but we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully I can get some videos out this week but yeah that's where we're at so okay well i'm gonna try to make this like a happier video not complaining you know i'm seeing people over there like enjoying themselves in the pool it's like come on sometimes it rains in life you know sometimes the internet speeds 25 that's how it goes sometimes so at the same time i want to make sure i give you a fair review so if you decide that you want to come to the henin palm in barakai that you know, you know what you get yourself into. So yeah, let's review this resort, guys. Okay, so let's take a look here. So we've got lobby, swimming pool, restaurant, beachfront, sky pool, gym. Okay, let's check it all out, guys. Oh, is it still raining? And you can get a drink here as well. Maybe you can also order a drink, uh, food. Here. Oh, but this is this is really sick. So you got this infinity pool here, and over there you've got the beautiful Borkai Beach. Oh, this will be really nice. And of course the bar here. And yeah, it looks like you can order food here. All right, so palm tree, modern Filipino. 
So I guess this is the restaurant over here. Uh, okay, let's take a look. I am so hungry. I really wanted to go to Aria and get my third favorite pizza in Southeast Asia today. I still might if it's not raining. Oh, so you you dump right out here to the beachfront, guys. Okay, so it's like kind of raining, kind of not right now. So let's see here. Oh, okay, no, this is fine. Oh, I mean, look, guys, do I have much to complain about? It is a short walk right to the beautiful beach, the beautiful water. And here is the hen and palm tree. Very nice, very nice. You know what? Why don't we take a walk first and then we'll look at the rest of the resort. So, if you've never been to Borkai before, I believe this is station one. It looks like we do have a foot wash here, by the way. Um, okay, actually, no, it's starting to rain more. Okay, guys, well, let's be real. There's really much to complain about. It's just raining a little bit. And I have this view right in front of where I'm staying. Yeah. Let's be grateful, right? Let's be grateful. So, I think I'm either going to do one or two Borokai videos. I'll take you to my third favorite pizza in Southeast Asia, either later in this video or in the second video. So you have to watch out. But, let's go in here and get some food. So if I don't get food, I'm going to... I'm hangry. I'm hangry, guys. I'm hangry. Look at this. So for a thousand, less than a thousand pesos, plus 250 for unlimited drinks, you get this food you can choose that's that's pretty nice you don't have to leave this resort that is for sure let's keep walking around okay so wait do you have two bars or is my room no my room's right there i guess that's 152 so i'm 252 so that's right where i am okay and that is oh sorry and that is really nice i think i will absolutely get a drink there tonight and probably take you with me but yeah you can see this pool goes all the way around and I think I showed you the sky bar I think I will try to sit here anyway because what a view eat some good food okay so let's take a look at what we have here some Filipino food which is probably what I'm gonna go with I'm not gonna get the pizza here high standard for pizza but Probably get like the adobo fried rice or something. Yeah, looks good though. Chicken inasal maybe. So I missed a whole page and I'm starting to branch out into fish a little bit more. And I ended up getting the salmon. So my two favorite fish are salmon and mahi mahi. I had mahi mahi in Sikior and it was, it was insane. Look at the salmon this time. So. I'll just pray to the food gods that my stomach can handle it. I usually don't process fish well, but I'm starting to get back into it a little bit. So let's go. Salmon and a uh, San Miguel light. So this will cost me, like, uh, the salmon's 975 pesos, which is like $15, almost $17. So it's quite pricey. But uh, we're at a resort, so things are going to be more expensive. So, yeah. Cheers. To a better Borkai trip. And good salmon. So yeah, I kind of touched on it before, but I basically wanted to do this like island trip where I went from Sikihor to Cebu to Shargao back to Cebu for one day and then here to Bor Borakai. And unfortunately, well Sikihor was great, uh, hopefully you saw those videos. If you didn't, you can check those out. But unfortunately, Shargal was cut short due to an incoming typhoon. And I think now that I'm here in Barakai, we're dealing with the sort of runoff of the typhoon. Again, Shargal was on the coast where the typhoon was coming. And this is not. So I was expecting it to be okay. Plus it's all scheduled and not refundable. So yeah kind of my hands were tied. I was coming here regardless, but hopefully tomorrow I can get in that water and get a good pizza and have a good time. So I'm gonna have a good time regardless. All right guys, well doesn't that look freaking good? We've got the salmon with some chutney I think. 
or some maybe some pickled vegetables, garlic rice, the best kind of cut. Eh, maybe Java rice is better, but garlic rice, Java rice, it's all good. And we've got like some soy sauce. Ooh, yeah, some uh, chilies. More pickled veg. Let's give it a shot, guys. Let's give it a shot. All right. I am excited about this. I've only eaten uh, lounge food today. So, uh, what do we do here? Let's see here. Let's try the salmon without anything. Some of this chutney, maybe. Ooh, the salmon is just like, it just melts right off the, the fork. Oh man. Not too fishy, a little fishy, which I don't love. But yeah, I think I'm gonna put some of these chilies on. Okay, it's a little fishy. Mm. Oh man. I think the salmon's pretty fresh. I know there's a little white, some white bits in there, but I think that's salmon for you. All right, thank you, sir. Let's try it with some soy sauce here. Mm. Oh, wow, way better with soy sauce. Mm. It might be even better with the chili. Some pickled veggies there. Oh, it's ginger. Ooh. Ooh, the ginger really adds to it. Let's add some calamansi. Mm. Oh, you don't even need, you don't even need a knife for this. Mm. Oh yeah. This is so good. Alright, so the one thing that this resort does not have is bottled water, which I'm a little disappointed by. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is try to find some bottled water around here. It's just stopped raining, so maybe I can find it around here somewhere. Looks like we've got like a ton of um, souvenir places here. There's a money changer right by. But wow, okay, I didn't see this last time I was here. This is insane. Just rows and rows of souvenirs, Boracay souvenirs. I don't think I will find a bottle of water here, but good, thank you. But I need the souvenir. I can find it here. Actually, the one bottle opener I have is from Borakai. Or Borakai. Yeah, it looks like it just keeps going down. Hello. Hi. Hello, sir. Hello. Welcome to my blog. Hello, Thank you. Welcome to my blog. Yeah. <laughs> can I get bottled water around here? What? Can I get a uh, bottled water in here? Uh, no, or you... just souvenirs? No, you straight and you... Left. Yeah, and you see a refrigerator there that has a bottled water. Down here? Yeah. Okay. Thank right you. In the Thank you. Okay, we have our answer. It's funny, everybody says, Welcome to my vlog. Hi, vlog. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome to my vlog. Welcome to my vlog. Thank you. Hey, sir. Hello, okay, sir. Hello. Hello. good. Welcome to my vlog. Welcome. welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Do you have a bottled water? Okay, great. How much for one bottle? Alright. Bit of a water fiend. I drink a lot of water. So, let's go back to the resort. So, wow, guys, I just realized. There's yet another pool here. Wow, that is wild. This is definitely a pretty sizable resort. Okay, so I have my pool towel card here. I do wonder if I can get a beach towel as well, but we're gonna go 
have a poolside drink, I think, and enjoy that. And then tomorrow, I will probably, no, I will definitely go in the ocean tomorrow, but actually last time I came to Port Guy, not only did I get locked in the bathroom, but I fried my GoPro. I don't want to do that again, so. I am not gonna take you in with me, but I will keep the GoPro above water this time. Even though the GoPro is water resistant, I had the wrong casing on, so it was my fault. All right. Yeah, let's go have a drink in the poolside. Hopefully there's a seat for me. Hello, uh, pool? Pool towel? Okay. Great. Thank you very much. And can I also take this on the beach? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Thank you. You like that? All right. Problem solved. Put my stuff here. Now let's get in the pool. Shouldn't be too deep. There's no diving in this pool. Ooh, water is a bit cold. Has been raining. But, uh, ooh. Oh, I gotta say, whoa. I almost lost my shit there. Water's a bit cold. But, uh, Look at this, on my way to the uh, bar here. It's nice. Maybe this will be the thumbnail. We'll see. So I think I'm staying up there. Yeah, I'm staying up there. And here we are in the pool, guys. Hello. Good evening. Okay, thank you. I'll be uh, San Miguel Light. Yes, please. Get any better than this. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Ooh. Maybe we also go up to the sky bar tonight. Why not, right? Sounds like there's some live music playing too, so I might go up there. All right, let's check out this sky pool here once more. See if there are any spots. Ah. Looks like there are. Okay, I'll post up right here. Oh, may I have a San Miguel apple? San Miguel apple, yes sir. The live music? Uh, live music? Uh, downstairs. Downstairs at the restaurant? Yes. Okay, great. Alright, let's check out this sky pool. Try not to lose my GoPro. Cheers, guys. Let's see if we can see the. Uh, well, you can't because it's dark. But this infinity pool looks out to the uh, beautiful Boracay Ocean. I think I showed it to you earlier. And we've got live music here. Hello. Evening. Okay. Let's take a walk down Boracay. It's going. Hello. Good. Thank you. Hello. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. So the thing about Boracay that I don't like is you do get hassled pretty hard. So I found out on my first trip here. But it's touristy, right? So yeah, so many good souvenirs in Boracay. You will never run out. Over there is the ocean, which you saw earlier. And here is the main stretch 
in Borgai. So there's station one, which I believe is where I am. Station two, station three. Station three is pretty far. What's up, brother? How are you? Good food? Good, good bar. Hello, good bar? Hi. Cold good drinks. Music. Hello, live music when? 7.30. 7.30, okay. All right, maybe I'll be back. Thank you. Okay, there's definitely a nightlife scene here in Boracay. I did not experience it last time. I probably won't experience it this time because I'm not really a nightlife guy. But it's very popular amongst backpackers and travelers. You'll see a ton of foreigners here. There's another uh, resort here called Coast, which I almost went with, but I love the Henan, so I decided to go Henan. I wanted to compare it to Pang Lao. It's pretty good. Pang Lao might be a little better, actually. I'll be honest with you. It's about the same price. Might be a little better. So this is called Cha Cha's. Cool bar. And one thing you have to do if you come to Boar Guy is get a fresh fruit shake. Put it on your list. It is so good, especially the mango. Ah, there's a Mandarin Bay as well. I'm sure it's a bit more pricey than the Henan, but who knows? Is this Sea Breeze? Sea breeze yeah. Is this the Henan Regency? Yeah, Henan. Oh, okay, I'm at the Henan Palm. Ah. So, okay, all right. Oh, I just ate. I just ate. Oh, you want take a video? Yeah. Are you sure? Sure. Okay. All right, all right. All right. Hello. He said I can take a video. Okay. So it looks like I uh, got all sorts of grilled meats here. I'm staying at the Hen and Palm. Yeah, good. Okay, hello. And uh, this is the Regency. It's about uh, $30 cheaper. But uh, the Palm, I think, has more stuff. So. Wow, take a look at this buffet. It's pretty intense, guys. We'll see how it compares to uh, the Hen and Palm. Wow, this buffet is intense. Maybe I made the wrong choice. I don't know. Although I feel like we can't really make a bad choice. It's the Hen and, right? Wow, look at all this food. Free promotion, guys. Free promotion. Oh, look at this strawberry cream cheese donut. Wow. Oh, and they've also got live music. Nice, nice. Okay. Well, you let me know what would you choose, Hen and Palm or Hen and Regency? Probably can't go wrong. Looks like we've got all sorts of smoked meats over here, guys. Look at this guy grilling. Wow. Okay. Thank you, bro. Okay. Have a good day. Thank you. So same price, actually. Man, I don't know. Maybe I should have gone to Regency. Who knows? I figured the more expensive one had the better amenities, but I have no, I have no idea. Here's the hen in Regency. So you decide, guys. You decide. Looks like we've got a bit of a club here. Wave Bar and Lounge. Wow. Okay. Oh wait, is this all still the... Wow, the Henan Regency. Wow. Okay. Maybe Wave is part of Henan Regency. Nice, hello. Okay, wait, did I make the wrong choice, guys? Did I literally pay more for less? I don't know. I don't know. Because this is like still the Henan Regency. That's wild. I don't know. Maybe they're do doing a deal and I just messed up. Who knows? Let me know in the comments if you know. Hey, bro, is this the Henan? It's Henan Regency. I'm staying at the Henan Palm. What's the difference? There's amenities, sir. More amenities in the Palm? And okay. It's the newest one, sir. It's the newest one. Okay, I wasn't sure because this looks bigger. Yeah. But then, but that's the newest one, yeah. and it has more amenities like yeah, pool yeah. and. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, bro. I'm doing a vlog. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good night. Okay. Well, we got our answer, guys. So I didn't make the wrong choice. And you can start to see the nightlife here as you walk further down. You can get hookahs. I have a neon beer. Okay. Hello. 
I mean, look at these tacos, guys. Buy one, get one free. Wow, these tacos look insane. Burrilla tacos. Oh man, I'll have to come back. Thank you, brother. See you later. See you later. Thank you. Okay, guys. So we've got some Borkai art here. Hope you can read that. This is Borkai. It's a sand sand art. Very cool. Let's go ahead and see if we can catch breakfast. I think I have 20 minutes left for breakfast, so let's go. All right, let's see what we got here. I think we're just at the end here. But I got an outside seat, so let's go ahead and see. Juices, iced coffee. Wow, I don't see that at a buffet very often. Coffee, I'm not drinking coffee currently. Hello. Homemade butter. Wow, homemade butter. It's like truffle butter, salted butter. Wow. We might have to try some truffle butter. I don't know what I'll use it for. Uh, I guess rolls, right? Yeah, I'm gonna try some truffle butter. Why not, guys? Yeah. What can we use our truffle butter for? How about croissant? I don't know what else. All right, I'm gonna get some food here. Bread. <laughs> uh, okay. It's probably cool it on the bread, but uh. Actually, let me put this through here. You got pancakes over here, French toast. Hey guys, we gotta try some ube porridge. Oh, thank you very much. Look at that. Ube porridge. Have you ever seen a thing? Okay hey guys, this ube porridge I think might be the strangest thing I've ever seen, but I'm excited to try it. So I got bread, bread, ham, pork, hash brown. Weird selection of items, but let's uh, let's get the camera down. Let's try the ube porridge. Oh, look at that. I wonder what it tastes like. I don't know. Oh. Oh my god, that is insanely good. Might have to go back for bowl number two, wow. Wow, that's so good. Oh my god, I was not expecting to like that so much. It's like a hello hello. Almost like the ube ice cream in Hello Hello. That's what it's like. All right, I'm gonna enjoy this. I don't know about the uh, breakfast selection here, but uh, not bad. All right, guys. Well, it's nice having breakfast over there because you can walk right here and go right out to the beach. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm either gonna go show you the gym or I'm gonna go in the water, and then I'll continue the video later. I'm good, man. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, well, let's take a look here. Okay, so you've got one, two, three treadmills, two other cardios, free weights, or dumbbells I should say, ab machine, other machines. Oh, not bad. Not bad. All right guys, well, had a nice swim earlier. Actually quite cold. Last time I was here it was perfect weather. 
Uh, but it's about 83 degrees. That's Fahrenheit. I don't know Celsius. But um, yeah, so it's a bit cold, but um, it's a nice swim. And now I'm gonna go to one of my favorite places mm. in the Philippines, Aria. Hello. And get one of my favorite pizzas. So let's go. Aria. And my favorite is literally, I think it's called the Aria. Yeah, Aria. It's got like ham on it. It's insane. Yeah. Tomato sauce, mozzarella, parma ham. 650 pesos, so that's hitting at about 12 dollars, something like that. It's worth it. I picked such a noisy spot with the construction, but yeah, I got a San Pellegrino here. Alright, so there's the uh, cheesy glory. The construction here is so unpleasant. It's really bad right now, but the pizza's good. Oh, we'll give it a, a retaste, okay? We'll give it a retaste. Still good as ever. Mm. You know guys, since this is a Henin review, I also, I thought this is the one I booked, but this one was not available. The Henin Crystal Sands. So I stayed over there before, um, my first time in Borkai, and I always walked by this Henin. And this is the one that I thought I uh, booked, but it wasn't showing up on a Goda, so it either isn't on there or it's, it wasn't available today, or for this period of time, so. There's also a hen in Crystal Sands, in case you're curious. All right guys, well I'm just about coming to the end of my stay here. It is my last night here at, in Boracay at the Henin. And I wanna try one of their signature drinks and also talk about the stay, so. These are the drinks I wanna try. One of these two, hello there. I think probably the Henin Isle. But let me go get my seat over here. So, got this nice seat by the ocean. Let's talk about it, guys. All right, guys, so I'm more of a beer guy, but I wanted to try one of these specialty drinks at the Hen, Hen in here. This is the Hen in Isle. All right, cheers. Oh, man. It's like Kool-Aid. Very heavy pineapple taste. Sorry, the table's shaking. Very heavy pineapple taste, but it's like just like a... Tropical Kool-Aid punch, like, is what I would say, is what it tastes like. It's got the, uh, hen and stir, uh, stir in there. And there's also, I think this is fresh pineapple. Oh, yeah. Oh. Pineapple and the cherry. Oh, man, it's dripping everywhere. See if I can eat this cherry. Mm. Oh. So good. All right. So, would I stay here again? I think I would. Um, I'm a person who likes to try a bunch of different things, so I would probably try another Henan, or maybe even another resort. There are a bunch of really cool resorts here. But not because I don't didn't like this place, just because I like to try different places to stay. Um, overall, I can recommend this to you again at about $117 a night. That's what I paid, basically what I paid in Pang Lao to stay at the Henan, and that's a five-star resort. Um, I like the Pang Lao Henan better, um, but this is Boracay, so things are more expensive and there are more options. And uh, I think the Henan in Pang Lao is much bigger, but. Here, you have way more things to do. So, breakfast was, honestly, it's just okay. Um, the food is very good here. The drinks are very good. The pool is great. Your beach side, you can see we have an awesome sun sunset starting to happen here. It's been overcast on the island the entire time, so I haven't been able to see the sunset, but you can kind of see it up there, maybe, through the trees. Kind of covered by the clouds, but yeah, I mean, it's a great location and I would say it's worth it. So thank you so much for being here and I'm gonna certainly be talking to you again soon. Peace.